So if we are trying to faithfully translate this Python code into C, we know that in Python, strings are immutable. And this particular statement takes that immutable string, makes it into lowercase, which does not modify the original string. Remember, the original string is immutable. So this statement on line 11 in Python creates a fresh string. And it is that fresh string, which is the lowercase form. So this is not a faithful translation of the uh, Python code. It is modifying the given string. And perhaps that is not what we should be doing. Perhaps we should ask our client if it's OK to modify the uh, string. But in this case, let us assume that it is not OK, in which case we cannot do this. Now notice that this error can creep in quite easily. We can help ourselves a little bit uh, if when we are writing this C function, if we add this special keyword called const. This reminds us as programmers that this word that is given should not be modified. Remember, in C, it is sometimes possible to modify the given string. So if instead of just saying car star word, we say const car star word, that is a reminder to ourselves as programmers that the data in the string word should not be modified. It must remain a constant. And then if we do add this keyword, then the compiler can check for us if our code is respecting that uh, intention. And here you can see on line 13, we actually get a syntax error. The compiler catches us by saying, wait a minute, you promised that this was going to be a constant. You were not supposed to use this pointer and follow it into the array and modify that data. You promised me that that data was to be treated like a constant. But here I am catching you modifying that data. So you see that we can sometimes help ourselves by declaring our intention and then having the compiler detect in case we violate that intention. So this is a good habit to use when our function is not supposed to modify the data in the given string or in the given array.